welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog i'll be doing some prep work oh uh, gosh yeah so um i have these three these are actually just cereal boxes um that i cut up into i think they're two and a quarter by three or two by three i'm not sure they're two inch by three inches so they're two by threes and I'm just going to be prepping these because I think I want to work with these in a future video and I need to prep the surface of these. Um, I'm actually testing out four different kinds of prepping of these surfaces. The first is I'm trying gesso. Yes, I do have some gesso because um, I want to use the Posca pens. So, um, so I'm prepping these. So I have one here with gesso. I have one here that I have glue on it. Just normal glue. I put some glue on it to see how Posca can work with the surface. I believe the glue will make the surface non-permeable. And I have this other one here where I coat it with both glue and then I put a coat of gesso over it to see how it will work. And depending on how these work, then I will use it in a future video. Okay, so the fourth um, stuff I'm going to be using is this product here. This is the Daniel Smith Transparent Watercolor Ground. And this product here is supposed to assist um, aiding you to transform any surface into an absorbent surface canvas or paper which makes it more accessible to take watercolor painting um, as you know you can put watercolor on this but it's just going to absorb into it it won't be able to take the colors very well it will just dull them down and absorb it in the crevice of these so I'm going to be putting it on this so that I could basically test out this product here now I have this brush here and if you would have followed my channel you know I picked up this brush in a art haul i like it because according to the instructions you need to use a stiff brush to apply this watercolor ground and this brush is really stiff like super stiff so i'm just going to put a couple coats on this just to test it out Now this is transparent so I'm hoping that it doesn't cause any color transfer that even that I am testing to see if it's going to leave any significant coloring because it's supposed to go on white and dry on clear just really putting on this and according to the instructions you need to leave it for at least 24 hours for it to dry I'll, I'll probably leave it a little longer than that and then we're gonna see how it goes okay so I'll be putting this one to dry to see uh, how it works um, probably put it to dry for a few days I have these drying for a few months to be honest I think about one month or two but I don't think I'll wait that long for this one it's just that I put it up and I actually forgot about it but um, I should get to this session and I need to prep these surfaces. I really do want to use that watercolor ground to see, to test the extent of it. Um, I do have some canvas paper I want to test it out with. And I did put some watercolor ground in this sketchbook here. Just because this sketchbook here, here it is. Yeah, I draw the illustration and then I put the watercolor ground on top of it. And so, yes, it did dry transparent on this paper. This paper here is the Pecan watercolor paper. It's 90 pound weight. It's supposed to be made from wool pulp. But the problem with this paper is that it absorbs watercolor very, very easy. Um, it's like really, the drying time is almost instantaneously you cannot work well 
with watercolors on this paper because of how quickly it absorbed the watercolor paint. And because it absorbed watercolor paint instantaneously, it tends to dull down the watercolor paint a lot, especially if you look at it where I the skin tone is kind of dull in my opinion. And that's actually, and if you look at the little shoes there, you can see how dull that is. Yeah, it, it really dulls down the colors. And in my opinion, it kind of changed the dynamics of my intentions when it comes to art and my drawings. So that's why I want to use that Daniel Smith product so that I could see if I could capture back some of the watercolor properties of this paper and have a greater appreciation of using this paper more. Like I said, this paper is actually a learn in progress. I would not suggest a beginner to use this paper because you really have to know how to work with this paper. Okay, with all that said, guys, let me put this up to dry and um, clean up my desk here. And um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.